Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're starting a new game tonight. This is Children of Morta. I know pretty much nothing about it other than the fact that it is an action RPG. I figured it's a good change of pace from the uh, a bunch of shmups we've been doing recently. So let's uh, let's try something uh, a little bit more RPG-like here and, and and see where this goes. See where this goes. I'm not 100% sure what the story is or how long it's going to be or what have you. But oh my goodness. What I do know is we'll have to uh, adjust audio a little bit here because this is already extremely loud. And it's all happening against just a star field here? Is this supposed to happen? Uh... Um... Is something else supposed to be happening here? I, I think I think something should be happening. All right, what's the deal here? Uh, are we have to restart this. I think we're gonna have to restart this. <laughs> the hell? Okay, it doesn't it doesn't like that, huh? Hmm. All right. Well, we'll just restart the game and see if that fixes it. I didn't really actually get into gameplay earlier when I was testing it, so we might have to do something else. We might have to take a couple minutes and, and see what's for here. And let's restart up. We'll dial back the audio a little bit while we're... Whilst we're dinking about here, we will dial in the audio a touch. Um... But I have a feeling it wasn't supposed to get caught at that little star field in the beginning. Uh, he's auto save, yada yada yada. Right, 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 right. Okay. Uh, options, audio. Tried to dial it in a little bit before, but it didn't quite. wasn't quite enough, apparently. Alright, okay. Uh, graphics is probably fine, whatever. Uh, back, new save slot. This might not be happy about running in wine. We'll 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 give it we'll give it a few minutes or a few seconds or whatever. We'll see if it resolves itself here. Uh, but my guess is that it's not going to be happy about us running in wine. Because if that's the case, we're gonna have to reboot into Windows. And then, and then, which I honestly would prefer not to do. But oopsie. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not happy about something. It sounded cool. It sounded real nice, but I'm guessing it's just not super happy about running in wine. Well, dang it, that sucks. We might have to call this a false start. Reboot into Windows and then start it up again. Okay, we're back. We're back and hopefully it works now. <laughs> but I guess we'll find out very shortly. Hey, there we go. Looks like something's happening this time. Ooh, kaboom. Alright, so that's what the uh, dramatic music was all about. Some mountain was exploding. Oh my god, this is still extremely loud even after dialing it in. Margaret awoke, startled, a cold sweat clinging to her. It's very pixely and chunky. She gathered her thoughts. I feel like it didn't save my audio settings. This sounds extremely loud, even after, like, dialing it down to 20%. Aged wood oh, creaked, right. echoing through the quiet rooms. Anyway, so plot is happening, apparently. It looks very pretty. Like, it's, it's quite beautiful. I'm definitely a fan of, Near of the pixely house aesthetics. Near the stood a shrine to Rhea Dana, goddess and daughter of the land, of Rhea and a being of comfort. Margaret sought answers. Don't we all seek answers, honey? But the goddess did not speak. 
there was only the faint whisper of something dark, something hungry. Hungry. Kind of like, like me being very hungry. Well, I should have eaten some before I started this. Oh well. The old seer's bones felt the weight of their age as she climbed. <laughs> That's a fucking mood. <laughs> The only thought on her Big mind, answer. has it begun again? Oh, that's very pretty. Is that the mountain that's going to explode again? That we just saw in presumably her dream? Oh, man, John's is, uh, mission would be a simple one. He was to investigate the latest shrine. Investigate a shrine. His mother okay. presented him with a fresh divinity shard. Okay, John is the son of Margaret. Very good. We're learning things. Divinity shard. Okay, okay. From his brother came a newly sharpened sword. Sick. That's all glowy and shit too. Awesome. His wife gave him a kiss, wow. and his daughters. Hugs were full of reason to return home safe. Good luck, John. I'm guessing we'll be controlling you very soon. Maybe. <laughs> this has been a bit more long-winded of an opening cutscene than we're than we're used to here. But that's okay. That's okay. It leads to something good. Okay. All right. So now we've got control, and now that we have control. It doesn't really take effect until we dial it down to like 15%. That's ridiculous. Okay. Now it's too quiet. Okay. Okay. Move character L stick. Right stick is to attack. That feels pretty weighty. I like. I kind of like that. It's kind of directional too, so that's interesting. Alright. Okay, we've got A is a dash. Oh, X also attacks in the direction I'm moving. Very interesting. Ah, oh, smart ass bird got away. Okay. Okay, A is kind of a dash forward. He can fucking book it, my goodness. Alright, good. We've got a very smooth, crisp movement. I like that. Rhea, a land long forgotten, a place of unimaginable beauty. I do like the kind of um, artistic style in the background, followed and then overlaid with the uh, the pixely world in front of it. That's really neat. It's a good contrast. Oh, swing. Checkpoint of some description, I would guess. Oh, there's no put away animation. It just appears on his back. Very good. It first oh, appeared as sludge given life, slithering creatures, small and vile. Let's use primary attack or right stick as we've discovered. Hacky slashy so far. That's okay. Presumably we'll get to uh, deeper stuff later. I think my brother gave me a freshly sharpened sword. He's getting a workout already. Beating these level one slimes. <laughs> Zappy, maybe that's just the, the boundary before we. Oh, hello. There we go. Now we're talking. Evade attacks at the right time to avoid incoming damage. You evade bar on the character zone. Ah, shows when they can evade. Press A to evade. Oh, I see. Not like we really need to do much evasion. Uh, can we pick that up? Oh, that's probably health or something, right? We're all full up. I don't really need to do much evasion. He's, uh, oh, well, except for that, I suppose. Yeah, 
Yeah, that is very good. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to be behind it. Okay, interesting, interesting. Too dense to pass there. Health pick up there. We should need it. John seems pretty strong now, so we, we shouldn't need that just yet. Checkpoint to doodle do. Looks like something killed that thing for me. A wall impeding further progress. A battle was certain. I mean, yeah, there was four of these dudes just waiting for me. Of course, there's gonna be a battle. Ability to hold, use a shield to hold, block incoming attacks, left bumper to use shield. Alright. Ooh, that took me pretty good there. Nice. Okay. Okay. Got it. We got it. B to interact. Interesting. I would have preferred A to interact. But B, we can make use of B too. Banished by light itself. The corruption abated, leaving the shard cold in hand, dark in need of life. I see, so pulling our shield. Maybe a little stabby stab rather than a slash. Okay, okay, well, we're learning things. Learning things here. Just require a gemstone to open to find different places like this animal corpse. Uh. What and oh this animal corpse? Did I run right by it? Can't interact. Okay. I don't know what. Uh, oh there. Oh, I see. Okay. I didn't go far enough. They just kind of popped it without me. The uh, shard grew warm. Knowing what was going on there. softly from the harnessed energy. All right, what do we got there? <clears throat> Damaged enemies burn and fire. Oh hell yeah. Some fucking burn. Before him yeah, was now one more dangerous than those that came before. Presumably because it's glowing yellow. Ooh, ouch. Ouch. Ow. Ooh, yeah, he is a, a touch more dangerous, isn't he? Oop. Oof. There we go. Wrecked, idiot. In XP as you kill enemies and reach a certain amount of XP, you can get a skill point, you use skill points to upgrade your abilities. Press to open the skill tree. Okay. Neat. And the skill has learned new skills. Scribes there. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, I don't. I want to look at my options. Oh, is this, this is still force tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to have to find whatever. Your skills become available as you spend more skill points. So blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right. All right. Pretty, pretty standard RPG fare so far. That's not to say it's not good, it's just, you know, it's standard. Okay. Goblins, a familiar threat, albeit farther out than oh, usual. <laughs> Alright, ba bam. Ooh. Accurate motherfuckers, huh? Except they got a pretty. pretty long, uh. Long warm up on their strikes there, so we get plenty of time to do things about it. A dangerous, a land of love found and of love lost. Okay, okay. Very good then. Some ruins of some sort. Ooh, glowing yellow. That's important. Before him was sacred ground. Left untouched in days gone by untouched huh well, besides the evil bullshit that's going on here womp oh okay remaining calm and collected the shock of his heart skipping beats was concealed in expert fashion and who this before him stood linda ah. his eldest daughter with bow and quiver at the ready Determined to do her part. How the hell did she get ahead of me? <laughs> Seems odd. The damage is 
here by enemies. That's a right bumper. Okay, can I, uh... Oh, interesting. Okay. Can, can I... Oh, she's gonna follow me. Okay, very good. Man, she can keep up, though. Dang. That was one hell of a fucking fight there. Alright, I like that. Give me support from afar. Very good. Man, these two can book it, though. They got some damn strong legs. Before the Guardians were not beasts feeding, but monsters consuming, destroying others, they corrupted and distorted, creating even more hungry husks. Alright, we're gonna have, all, have ourselves a little battle here. That's fine, let's go. Let's fucking go. I'll run, you cowards. Alright. Let's go. Bigger fuckers done. Alright, still pretty hack and slashy here. That's okay. That's okay. We're picking up things as we go. Both father and daughter gathered their thoughts, their hearts heavier than before. How would they explain what they had witnessed? Take a picture. Bring it back. Oh wait, this is probably in a in a mythos that does not quite have photography. The ancient tree had been cut down. Together, father and daughter described the horror, the creatures dripping with decay that slithered into bodies stuck between life and death to bolster their ranks. But we Grandma kind Margaret of murdered confirmed everything, what so they all feared. We're probably fine. It was the corruption. At least a cruel now. entity spoken of only with hushed voices. An ocean of darkness that flowed from the top of Mount Morta. Mm. Mount Death. Or some. And the Bergson's duty word there was of, to right? stand against this devouring deluge of death. Kevin was also eager to do his part in he the family's fight. He seems a little especially young, Especially when his older brother Mark was off somewhere. He was as much a guardian of their mountain home as any of them. Yeah, but he's he's a little stubby there, so maybe... She stood. Nah. <laughs> if they were to <laughs> reach the summit and destroy this evil, as the Bergsons of old had done in the past, they would need the assistance of the Sanctuary. Dang. Margaret's been busy. Digging a fucking subterranean layer, holy shit. Awesome. Man. Given to the Bergsons by Rhea herself, the sanctuary was a gateway to the mysterious lands around the mountain. Margaret pointed to the huge crystal at the center of the den, revealing their next task. To activate it, and open the way to the source of the corruption. Okay. Okay. And once Rhea's three spirits are gathered on the grounds, the only gate to the top of Mount Morta will open in this chamber. Okay, okay. By himself, or with the assistance of those who loved him, John needed to gather the three spirits from their lands. Without them, he would not be able to stem the flow of the corruption. Okay. Fair. Right, let's go, I guess. I mean, what else we got to do? Look, caverns, yada yada yada. Okay, okay. Confirm. Uh, confirm. Ah, oh, sick. Um, well, let's keep rolling with John, I guess, huh? Can we... alright. So I wonder the celestial if, uh, shard his daughter will come with him right away? directly from the ancient crystal in the sanctuary. It would be the Bergson's lifeline, a 
tethered to pull them back home before death's fateful whisper. All right, very good. We'll just pocket that shit. I'm sure we won't need it. We're going to be too good. We won't need that stuff, right? Okay, so it is just me alone. I no longer have my uh, bow and arrow wielding daughter with me. That's unfortunate. She was doing some business for us whilst we were in the thick of it. Every kid have to have a bat. Okay, we've got some gold involved too. We are already very, very fucking very hurt already. Okay, don't slash those things. <laughs> Duly noted. Or at least if we're gonna slash them, then at least step the fuck back before they blow. Began to slip away, wondering if this was death. Okay. Oops. But we get recalled before we die, because otherwise the story wouldn't advance they very far. <laughs> for air as the celestial shard brought them back, a sensation no hero could become accustomed to. That's right. Walk it off. Walk it off. Have a little snooze and we'll go back and try again. As she heard John and Linda describe their foray, thoughts rushed through <laughs> Margaret's their head. Their foray into the second the room of the first dungeon. <laughs> amplified the creature's <laughs> wickedness. And no longer were they part of the harmony of the Rhea. With the new threats looming, Margaret asked Ben to prepare his workshop. Mm, he make, would make have use to take of the money charge we're finding of down enhancing there, right? the warrior family's weapons and armor. Very good. <laughs> Uncle Ben. <laughs> Uncle Ben reached out to the familiar of warmth of the ben. forge. If they were to reach the top of Mount Morta, their equipment need to be of the highest quality. Highest quality. None of this fucking scrub tier bullshit we were using before, right? More to upgrade them. Okay, so more of it's presumably the currency. Their family's weapons and armor, because their main attributes. Main attributes there. Okay, armor, health, etc. Okay. No, I want to look at other... Ah, this is still part of the tutorial. So I guess we were meant to die, pretty much. Cool, we did it. We have spent all of our more <laughs> to improve our armor, apparently. Okay, so what do we got? We got armor, we got warfare, just attack, pretty much. Precision, just critical chance, sharp weapons, critical hit damage. Resilience, avoiding status debuffs. Rage, rage gain rate, interesting, agility, chance to completely dodge, okay, swiftness, movement speed, we're already moving, like, pretty fast. That armor, okay. Very good, okay, so we've got the workshop and we've got chapter select. Well, we don't have much, we don't have much else we can do at this juncture, so we may as well just go try again. <laughs> Try again, and this time not die like a dumb idiot in the second room. <sighs> okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Let's go this way instead. No, 
Oh good, there's spiders now too. Fantastic. Spiders and bats. Ouch. Presumably there's going to be some poison going on. Leveled up and or gained a skill point. Okay, let me alright, so it does pause when we do that. Kill of thorns, melee attackers take damage when blocked. Okay. Can't really do anything else. Oh I see. So we need skill level 4, 8, 14, 20, etc. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so we could upgrade that with two skill points, or we could just grab this. Let's grab that. Boing. There's our map. Okay. Stats and shit. Information. Uh, do we have that with us? No, we don't, huh? It's just part of the uh, first little tutorial y story bit, I guess. We can't destroy that. It's just kind of a thing that's happened. Top right. Game of chance and memory. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> that that was apparently incorrect. Okay. Um. One. No. It's one four something. Sure, you could have figured that out at some point elsewhere, right? It's probably written down somewhere. It's very easily within reach, but we just decided to just brute force it. Brute force, it's fine. Extra health down here too. Doesn't need stamina to hold the shield. I'm guessing it uses stamina when the shield gets hit, actually. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that I think that blue bar below my health is stamina. Let's 
stone things or whatever they were talking about in the little tutorial bits. this supposed to be. I'm sure it's important later on. Boom! There we go. Make yourself scarce when you tap that thing a bit, huh? Oop. it from anywhere on this floor. Oh, I see. Right? Interesting. Okay. What's this? Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, so that's the one we had before. I see. So then if I do zerp, then it takes me back. Oh, okay, that's pretty neat. The halls of Anea Dyer, so mesmerizing in their magnificence, were to be found at the end of a long road. And a hero never knows what is awaiting them at the end of a road. Or moving is more important. Whilst you are walking than said road. good then. <laughs> Almost lost right there. What strange thing could have dragged grandmother this far? Who knows, but it looks like whatever she's doing is important. Still obelisks to aid the guardians. This was the only thing Margaret silently whispered. Some swiftness too. Yeah, they are moving pretty quickly now. Alright, well, it's too bad we're about to die. <laughs> Not taking uh, full advantage of this, but hey, that's alright. that last. Chance to stun? Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, something definitely hit me there. Ouch. we regen back to, assuming we don't totally eat it. Oh, well. <laughs> Just gave me a little poke and that was it, huh? Kevin's need to help all began when his elder brother Mark left the house. His brother was strong, making any near him feel safe. But he left Kevin. Though Uncle Ben knew what his nephew needed, a focal point for his aspirations. Okay. Okay, that's good. It's good to have, uh... You have a drive and a target for your life, right? Can't be like his uh, father John, apparently, and just go swing swords in the caves or whatever. The mysteries of the world were like open books to the wise. Book of the knowledge. knowledge from the wise shall benefit man and beast. Okay, what is in said book? Increase stuff, man. Increase the efficiency of obelisk effects. 100 to 150%. Damn. Pretty expensive, though. 475 more. So we won't be doing that. So we can work on uh, improving our other base stats here. So we've got what? 283. Jeez. because I just spent it all there, and that's fine. Okay. Alright. Steadily opening more stuff up, apparently. And now, does it save our progress through part one of that, or... It must, right? I hope so. Be kind of silly. All right, let's try um, let's try the bows and the arrows then. We've gotten a feel for the sword. Let's see what we can do with this thing. Use the arrow to aim and shoot at the same time. Use the stamina to shoot while moving. Your stamina reads enemies on end. He doesn't move and shoot at the same time. Okay, very good. Ah, okay, so it's pretty much automatic fire. Very good. I see. I see. Oh, no, we are back at... Well... Okay, so it does reset our progress each time we have to get bailed out there. Very good. It's got some power to her, at the very least. Alright, so she's definitely not one to get up in the crowds. Oh, they seem to have poor aim on their own, too, so <laughs> that's their problem. Very poor aim. <laughs> Very slightly auto aimy, but not quite. 
fact, I wonder if that's an option. Uh, gameplay. Okay, aim assist is off. Very good. Now, whenever we miss and or hit is our fault. Ah, okay, so we can hit those from afar then. Endurance. Decrease the stamina limit is consumed while moving and shooting, increasing the duration should perform, okay. Use an arrow skyward to fell on an explosive force. Hell yeah. Do it. Yes, do it. Is that a ability? Oh hell yeah. Hell yeah. Pop. Boom! Alright. Very good. Oh, the thing comes back. Interesting. I didn't notice that before. <laughs> I hope it went somewhere good. Turning out a special attack to be activated by pressing down. Consumed after being activated. You can only carry one charm with you before activating its effect. Okay. already injured. That must have been what I explodey thing hit before. Okay, lots of money. Does it give me money somewhere? Okay, so I got 300. Literally it, huh? Just drops a gemstone for me. I guess that's fine. Useful. Money pickups. Side tumble for her evade, that's pretty good. <laughs> 
send money bonus there. Alright, let's get that, I suppose. Oh, well, great. Didn't need it. Wasted it. See, increased critical hit chance, hell yeah. Let's have a poke around before we leave here. Thinnest strands of white fibers white coated fibers. the ground and walls, evidence of the silk caverns living up to their name. else can we until we get to level four and uh, I see what they're t telling me here 
Oh, and then some things are linked. Interesting. Okay, well, we can't do anything with it yet. We need another, <coughs> need another skill point before we advance any further, I suppose. Increase critical chance. Is that what that was? Greatly increase critical chance. Alright, very good. divine emotion, especially during dark days. Love had motivated this mother to lay down her life for her cub. Yeah, well, time to help that cub out then. Let's go. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Oof. Unfortunate, but hey, we got a pile of cash that we can improve our shit with. It's like Uncle Ben is busy doing something now. What's, what's he doing? A set of daggers made just for him. They would be his guide to finding himself, his focal point. Dang. The boy tested them. They felt good. Not too heavy, not too light. Like an extension of himself. Uncle Ben suggested a few practice swings outside. <laughs> a few. <laughs> Daggers sliced the air, guided with an easy grace. His nephew was clearly a natural with the blades and would be ready to join his father and sister in no time. But the boy's mother had words on that subject. Of course she did. <laughs> Two of her children were already risking their lives and she would not have her precious little boy out there as well. Regretfully, he took the daggers away. Womp. Who was he to argue with a mother when it involved her child? I mean, good on Uncle Ben for doing that, Handing but over still. the daggers was like abandoning a part of himself. He was meant for them, meant to be out there fighting for what was right. He just needed to convince them. He'll be the fast attack character later on, I bet. All 
Alright, so what do we need for this? We just need money, huh? Yeah, okay. Here's the efficiency of obelisk effects. Okay, okay. That might be pretty helpful, actually. But not yet, not yet. Let's up our base stats a bit before we go mucking about with anything else. Damage, absolutely. I'll just go across the board, huh? Much money as we got. Oh, what do we got over here? On calm days such as these, Mary enjoyed venturing into the nearby grove. The woodland creatures came out to lend her company. The smallest ate from her basket while she took in the serenity of it all. Oh, that's cute. Alright, so I think I enjoy the bow and arrow more than the sword, but... But okay, we're making slow progress. Slow progress. So wait, can we... No, we can't. We still got this very first section to do. Alright, let's go back to the sword for a bit. Let's see what we can do here. Now that we're adapting to the pacing of it all, you know? A little bit less pure hack and slash and more delicate timing. Corpses have less chance to get corrupted and spawn enemies? Okay. Crap. Force. Okay. Okay, same thing we had before. Oh, 
gemstone for that one. Okay, okay, so that's my RB ability then. there we weren't paying attention really to what was going on cool got some orbitals for us <laughs> all right very good just get there. <laughs> First enemies do reduce damage. Okay, that's probably good. So we got smacked up pretty good. Divine okay, emotions, skip especially yeah. during the There we go, we did it. We did it! We saved the cub, but probably not the mother. Held the young one to try and rouse her from eternal slumber. And it would be love welcoming the new orphan among the Bergsons. <laughs> That's kind of feelsy. Okay, there's the end of that one. Let's have a poke around first. Ah, 
Oh, I see. You only have one at a time. They're both the same. <laughs> Very good, then. there. It's not great. Extent of things. Except for a little bit in the beginning, we didn't check out. That's fine, though. Hmm. Oh, gee. If this doesn't look like a boss fountain. What do we got there? Ring of regeneration. Constant health regeneration, but health globes heal less. That's fine. Maybe it's not active since we're not in battle. All eight eyes. Oh, good. Big ass spider. Perfect. Ew. <laughs> oh no, why? Why does it have to be spiders? Disgusting. Oh, that's hard to judge where they are. Oh, jeez. Excuse me. Ow. Excuse me. Ah, lame. Ah, boy, it's gonna take a bit, isn't it? Oof. Who could use that, though? Excuse me. <laughs> Ow! Oof. Jeez. We should be using our shield, huh? Ouch! <laughs> Womp. Okay. We got- we rescued the wolf cub, though. More story. What's going on? Alright, what's going on? Worried for the missing boy, ah, crap. Ben Kevin thought that away, maybe he? he should have hidden the daggers better. <laughs> Is it really you think? Margaret, in her wisdom, knew that nothing would have remained hidden from Kevin forever. Well, of course, now, but still. she only encouraged her son and his daughter to hurry and find him. Hell yeah, new unlockable character. Let's go. Let's go get him. He'll be fine. I guarantee you he'll be fine on his own. But for plot reasons, we must go get him. Although in the safety of the Bergson's house, the young cub was not yet free from danger. Exhaustion racked the animal's body, its chest heaving for even the smallest of breaths. The family believed several plants found okay, deep so in the nearby caves to combined together <laughs> as to which thing we could do serve first. to remedy the situation. So go find Kevin or go get some herbs for the, the wolf cub. I guess we're, we're eventually going to do both, right? Completion's sake. Uh, we can't do that, of course we can't. Uh, well, let's do that. Or 75. Wasn't that a lot cheaper last time? Uh, this seems to be following kind of a, a rogue legacy progression of costs. 
Like, the more other shit we buy, the more expensive everything else gets. I guess that makes sense. That uh, makes you pick and choose. Makes you pick and choose. Library here. Okay, that's our codex and shit. Uh, Alright, so can we go... We have to wait for it to allow us to go look for the boy, or can we just go out and do it? Feels like we should just be able to go do it. But it's, it's telling us... Uh, it's telling us we cannot, so... Very good, then. <laughs> Very good. I guess we will not be doing that just yet. Let's go fight that dumbass spider first. Is it gonna make me go through the entirety of the first level, though? I bet? Probably. Alright, let's take the sword. We're getting, uh, used to the sword. Rebuild our skill tree if we so choose, but I don't want to do that just yet. Uh, let's beef up our heaven strike. Okay, so now we've, uh... Family traits benefit all other family members as well. Family member grows in power, so it is the entire family. That's pretty sick. Increase the max health of all family members? Hell yeah. Oh, I see. That's already unlocked for doing that thing. And then these get unlocked as well. That's fucking great. Alright, cool, cool. Uh, let's go. We'll be better able to destroy that dumbass, big ass spider. <laughs> ah, of course, we gotta redo all this. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't be a roguelike without having to redo everything. Sure, sure. Not like that's gonna matter too much in ye olde opening dungeons, but... Hey, we'll take every... every buff we can get. That, that better be worth something. Only 20? Really? Lame. Sacrifice some of my health to keep that combo going. Give me a break, man. What we got here? Arch of Insanity. Greatly increase something something. Critical hit chance of the damage at the cost and damage at the cost of a slow constant drain of health. Oh shit, can I can I drop that? <laughs> I feel like I don't want to have that on my person. Oh wait, can I? Oh, I see. Oh, I have to activate. Ah, fuck. <laughs> and I just activated it. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot.
I can't deactivate it, unfortunately. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, well, there's the end of that chapter. What we got here? Small chance to recover health from attack. Okay, a little vampirism. A little vampirism, let's go. Help offset some of the health drain effects, perhaps. Damn. Sick ass hit there. There we go. Get that shit out of here. Okay, well, we're making it work. Making it work just a little bit here. Generous mushroom was vital to any concoction with the purpose of healing. While naturally poisonous, any skilled brew maker could uh, extract like the fish. important <laughs> properties without danger. Very good, then. Pushing enemies away from you. Okay, that might be important. Let's not forget that we have that. That didn't seem to do much. <laughs> Let's be honest, that did not seem to do a whole heck of a lot. did it. Now we gotta think of Open up this thing, probably just more monies. Okay. Monies, 520 monies. that pulls enemies in? Well, no, I probably don't want that. <laughs> I want to keep them away from me. Pull them closer. Thing? We do. Create our shield. Can we do this instead? 
increase John's armor. Let's do that. Let's do that. Old man strength. Can we do anything more with it? Also get that. So your age temporarily become invulnerable and deal thorn damage to attackers. Hell yeah. Let's do that. Unlock everything. When attacks now fill your rage meter and fully charged, you can activate the Guardian's Rage by pressing a little trigger. Cool. Alright. What do we got here? What the hell is Not this? all in the caves were refugees. Oh, Some were just traveling merchants stuck in a bind. It's a 60, nice. The strange looking shopkeeper dusted off his clothes, tipped his hat. He invited them to stop by his shop later, promising something for all the Here in the dungeon needs. offering goods for a price. Okay. What we got here? Five with a modest portion of health. Alright, cool. That's probably helpful, actually. Lead me to the boss, right? A little boss fountain beforehand and then get right up in it. Got really nothing in there. Great. Okay, well, maybe with our combination of things we can actually make All this happen. All eight eyes studied the one so willing to walk into their own tomb. damage to it, unfortunately. Three little swipes and then that's it. Come on, buddy. Nah, of course. Okay, good. Yeah, I gotcha. Gotcha, you little shit. Death slowly beckoned to bestow its peace. We did it. Now we can the clear Burton this door. Could go no further. Well, maybe the not. The path blocked. The light crystal, as if filled to the brim with life, started to pulse. <clears throat> A way had opened, 
a step closer to the spirit at the heart of the caves. But before taking that step, Caution dictated a return to home to inform the family. Caution is good. Found Very passage. smart. Very smart to exercise caution. A manuscript of precision. Now can we go rescue Kevin? <laughs> Nope. No, he's back on his own. See, Kevin we didn't even know. Didn't even saga, have to go after him. Barely a scratch. Yet, he found no appreciation from his family. Especially his father. I mean, he did run off without telling Despite anybody. having Linda on his side, his father was still mad at him for endangering himself and worrying them all, oh, shit. including his pregnant mother. His favorite line... Asking how he could be so inconsiderate. I mean, he's a young kid. He's probably he a teenager. He wondered whether Uncle Ben would understand his bravery and initiative better. I mean, With his heroic granted, act but... unrecognized, the young boy waited, frustrated, expecting more punishment. What Kevin had not expected was his parents' reaction. Heartened by his courage, his father was going to teach him the ways of battle. And his mother was far from the frail and always worried housewife she had seemed. But Berkson through and through, she gave him her blessing. All right. New character unlocked. His presumably. <laughs> with caution. All's well that ends well. Perhaps Uncle Ben was the happiest of them all. Not only had his nephew held his own in combat, Damn. but had done so sick move. the weapons <laughs> he had made for him. The fucking sick move. Kevin only wished his older brother Mark was there to witness his rise to the family calling. My guess is we'll find Mark's corpse eventually. That's going to be a sad moment, I think. Not looking forward to that. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Defeated, the Spider King had been removed from the path leading to the halls of Anaya Dyer. Although the pestering of greedy goblins might still prove dangerous along the way. Uncle Ben was pointing out possible routes forward, speaking of the troubles pilgrims had run into in the Lost Trenches. We rescued the shopkeeper though, so well, maybe we can buy some shit on the way and everything will be fine. It's a sick ass house too, my goodness. Precision upgrade. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay. So we found a We found a thing. We also found the mushroom thing. Doesn't that do anything for us? Did we I haven't healed the wolf cub just yet. That's all right. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. I think. So let's see what we got. Uh, we haven't unlocked any journals. Read some info on each family member here, but eh, we'll get to that later, I guess. Charms we found, all this design. Okay, okay. Miscellaneous lore, nothing like that. Okay. Let's see, we got 882 buckos. What can we do with them? Precision was the one we just unlocked, right? Crit chance? Hell yeah. That seems good. What else is unlocked, though? Let's get some. Oh, man, 850 buckos. Jeez. Alright, uh, what else can we do here? No damage. Uh, what was the other thing? Here. Oh, there's 2,200 buckos. Good lord. Phew. That's a, that's a lot of buckos. I don't know if we're ready for that. 475, 325. Alright, let's get some basic health going. About as good as we can do there. As we proceed. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so we've, we're done with the silk caves or whatever, right? Yeah, look at that. Oh, he's gonna be the, the fast get in, do the business, and get out, I bet, huh? Let's go. Let's go. Scattered bones stripped clean of flesh lay in stark contrast to the dead left untouched. Hunger and malice thrived. The lost trenches, the new residents of the goblin hordes. Oh, and quick and stealthy with each hit he stacks frenzy. The more frenzy he has, the quicker his attacks become. The frenzy bar changes represent the amount of frenzy. Frenzy depletes over time. Okay, he's got some short range. But you know, I can deal with the quickness. Nice. Slow cooldown on his dodge, which is great. Or short cooldown, rather. Not there. I guess. Drop a divine item. Oh, that's it. What do we got? Increased primary attack damage. Alright. Works for me. Really quick to like that. Oh, well, that was kind of stupid. My fault. to help out our damage. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Oops. All right, let's see what's he got on your skills. Flurry of knives in all directions, seems pretty good. They stack, stack, stack together, and they focus frenzy, increasing attack speed. Okay, I see. Oh, let's do this first, though. Pretty sick. awaited those who can defeat the god of games. Uh... Oh, <laughs> Pong of the Gods. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> this is kind of silly, but I kind of like it, too. There we go. We did it. Hooray! <laughs> That's funny. 25 buckos only, though. 
What a rip. Okay, I like the the quick hack and slash that Kevin's Kept doing Kept in for us check here. by a Nea Dyer's will, <laughs> the goblin hordes never dared to linger in her cave. Their place was in the bloodless forest, bloodless forest. banished for their brutality. Man, you're really getting a lot out of this fucking speeders. In the darkest depths of the caves, further than a weary traveler dares to tread, lay the chamber of Anea Dyer and her golem. The first step toward the mountain god. Taking a big hit there. Oops. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. As the conversation turned to the progress of the corruption, Mary was curious to know which village had been attacked this time. <clears throat> However, that worry gave way to panic when Lucy entered. Yeah, go on. Oof. Ooh. Poor yeah, that's rough. Beasts, all slaughtered. Maybe something had infected them. The corruption was on their doorstep now. Quite literally, it seems, huh? Okay, I don't know, 2200, yeah, right. Enough for a basic upgrade here. 
goblin bandits had been preying on Anaya Dyer's pilgrims with unprecedented cruelty, removing the evil to help those who had taken refuge in the caves. Ben had heard that the goblin's sibling's lair was somewhere in the lost trenches. Bergson's had to deal with those two as soon as they could. Get them. Well, let's proceed. Well, let's keep going with the, the quick hack and slash character here. We'll have, getting adjusted to that. Skill points to do our next little thing of the game. Oh, what was that? Just get there. Any effect of a random on the list of more time. Okay. <laughs> Too aggressive somehow. Chance, all right. Oh, I see. He can do more than one at a time. Interesting. It's not all or all or nothing in one go, like his father, apparently. Ouch, bastards. <laughs> Okay, just the 
thing to keep away from me, even though it didn't seem to do much when I used it with uh, the other character before. Maybe I just wasn't using it properly, you know. Towards the less chance to get corrupted and spawn enemies. Eh. Oof. That's a big old hit we took there. Okay, now we can probably do something now. Uh, let's upgrade our AoE attack early. When we get there. This is family one of the weakest parts of increasing family's critical damage. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Take that shit. Dodges there. <laughs> wow. A little dicey. And not in my favor. Oh, I see. Is every corpse of an enemy that I slay that leaves a corpse? So all the goblins and such, maybe? <laughs> Disappear right away. Interesting. Okay. Just need to this floor. Ah, Welcome, the friend. The shopkeep greeted. And don't mind the occasional blood stain on the merchandise. <laughs> Double damage below 25%. Increased critical hit chance. Supporting health. Okay, so that's just a normal ass. There's enemies on contact. Hey. Recover health when attacking. There we go. That's the <laughs> your big money one for a rapid attacker, I guess, huh? Go with that. And this depth, the air was stale, thickened by the stink of rank fur, matted with sweat and blood. <laughs> There. Let's use that, whatever it is. Ah, oh, that's done in by a dumbass trap. Okay, so they can't trigger them, but they can get hurt by them. At least we've got that much. We've learned that amount of information. Oh, this isn't looking good. Is that going to be Mark? Trudging home? Probably. Man, he is, he is looking in a bad way there. While painful for a mother to see her son in sickness was still better than missing him for so long, Mary knew that she would make caring for Mark her mission. Mark had to warn them about the dangers approaching, despite how difficult it was to talk. He started naming the villages that were evacuated, or worse, taken over by the corruption, but soon succumbed to fatigue. And fell asleep. 
Barry recalled hearing of an herbalist in Caldipo Caves that would have the yarrow at hand needed to treat more. I mean, the we Bergsons got that mushroom, would once right? again need to brave the treacherous caves in search of the herbalist. Alright, so the, the mushroom wasn't for the wolf cub, was it for... Mark? Apparently. Apparently not. <laughs> Sick. Kevin's doing some practice jumping. Holy shit, wow. That's fucking insane. Alright. Alright. So we got some more monies, right? 922 buckos. What can we do with it? Of course, we'll be just a touch short of getting two upgrades. But we can get a swiftness one. Not really worth it. Here. The past holds both the joy and bitterness of time. I'm talking to Uncle Ben. Sheila could help them, as John said, but Ben would not bring himself to overlook the sting of their past relationship. Dude, the fucking world is ending, apparently. Get over it. <laughs> Get over it and ask Sheila to help. Learn the ways of the assassin. Decision upgrade, yep. We already did this, right? Could have probably chanced on that too, huh? Okay, okay. Got a new thing here, apparently? Let's tell. She knew where it was coming from. Her ancestors had spoken of such corruption flooding down the mountain. But Grandma Margaret wanted to know what it was and what needed to be done to destroy it. Fair. That's a good idea to learn the source of this garbage that's happening, right? Okay, well, I think we've given the, the quick character enough of a go here. You can kind of balance our things out. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, no. No, we're good. Never mind. Oh, I see. Those, those things at the top are the family boosts going on there. Okay, let's go back to uh, the one arrow for a touch, even though we don't really like it all that much. It's a bit too slow a firing for our taste, but we'll we'll give it another go and see if we can make something better Finding happen. Finding the it. herbalist was the most pressing matter. The healing herb needed to be taken to Mary as soon as possible. spark right before they start attacking. I have a gemstone. I guess those don't persist across runs. That's silly. That's alright. Oh, her attack has a little bit of an AoE to it. Okay. That's... that's good. Not much of one, necessarily, but... When they get all... bunched up and shit. Kind of important. Can move.
doesn't help my aim, apparently. I could turn aim assist on, but meh. No thanks. The only way we'll get better at aiming is to actually do the aiming. This is very slightly AoE, isn't it? Very slightly. Fatal blow is uh, okay. Very good. Sure, we'll waste that on the second floor here. Okay, that went a little bit too far afield. <laughs> I wanted to help me here. There we go. pair of corpses. I thought that was lootable. Womp. Can we get anything with our things yet? Alright, let's upgrade that. Can we get... Look at this. Stays together, increasing the entire family's movement speed. Nice. There could not have been a more perfect description of this route than its name, Cave Web. Rather bland to the taste, still edible, and full of nutrients.
20 bucko bonus. Oops. Considering AoE explosive, both of favor groups. Wherever there was a secret, knowledge was to be gained in reward. And wherever there was a reward, danger lurked. The cipher was important enough that it brought Grandma here. Here's to being lucky, Grandma exclaimed with her unique sense of humor. <laughs> All right, let's be lucky as best we can, I suppose. Hmm. 
Is that the herbalist the poor we were looking herbalist for? Had yeah. no valuables, but the goblin's mm. greed had now surpassed gold and jewels. Oh, wow. Well, hopefully we can at least find Shedding what we need. Shedding tears for the dead man would serve no one now. The herbs needed to be delivered okay, to Mary. Good. At least we got that much. Tired of being called Shady, he instead adopted the title Mysterious Shopkeep. <laughs> Mysterious Shopkeep. Well, I don't have any... I don't have enough money for any of this. Things that I can't afford, I don't need, so... Hooray! Passives, please.
Something more sinister will be appearing soon. AKA, I should interrupt them before they, they do their shit. Quicker. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I don't think I used my uh, free revive yet, did I? Not doing much damage to the big boy there. Oh, well, okay, I was about to say, come on, <laughs> give me some help here. There we go, get him out of there. Phew, okay. Damn it, I've only got one gemstone now. Well, I'm not gonna be able to afford that. That's to the boss fight. It's not gonna happen. Well, I mean, it'll happen as soon as we finish exploring up here. Reveal the contents of the tablet. The secrets of Rhea are in the hearts of the stones, and for those whose weapons guard the creatures of the wild, there are new arts of war to be learned. New arts of war. Runic knowledge, huh? What do we get? Stun enemies. Hell yeah! I can seem to use that ability. Okay. Well, we've been using that ability a lot, so hopefully it'll, uh, do some work for us. There we go. Get the chance to stun on our normal attack, but well, that's really doing the work for us, too. back through the minefield. Idiots. <laughs> I take two hits on my way- Oh, that's fucking lame. <laughs> that's lame, come on. Interrupt me as I'm warping the fuck out of there. Alright, let's get our... Oh, that was a one-time use thing. Uh, 
The creature oh, boy, that now this could threatened be a, a the bit hero of a problem, huh? was a crudely focused inferno of hatred and malice. Whoa, okay. One raging oh, good. beast good, great. Not enough. Surely, two were. Bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Lame. Fucking lame. <laughs> That's alright. Okay, we made some good money. Made some good money. Got the herbs for old Mark here. Mark was out of the woods now. Was he? His fever gone. He was almost up and about. Welcome back, brother, said Kevin. Oh yeah, another un another playable character unlocked, presumably. Oh, so he wasn't bleeding profusely, he was just had his Arms and legs wrapped. Okay. <laughs> Hard to tell sometimes. He had avoided conflict over the years, living in harmony with nature. But as Uncle Ben was fond of saying, a Bergson would forget how to walk before they forget how to fight. Fair. Very fair. At least the, the monk type character, huh? The Safiri, that sort of thing? is getting more filled up here as we go along. Actually, it's very slots, increasing everyone's durability. Okay. Some more drop from enemies, 120%. Seems like a good idea, huh? Let's go for it. Get money faster, get upgrades faster. That's the way it goes. Uh, we can't afford really anything else, so... Okay, it's getting kind of late. Why don't we call it there? We got a kind of a late start because of the, a little bit of a false start there, but that's all right. We will call it there. Turn the title and then pick this up next time. Next stream will be Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. CST. It'll be the first Thursday of 2020. So it'll be a new shmup book club going on. A new shmup for... January and a new shmup for the first quarter of 2020. Um, I think those have been determined, but I don't remember what they are, but we'll find out tomorrow, I suppose. So tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. CST, Shmup Book Club, and then Friday night, 7 p.m. CST, we'll be back here on Children Morta. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.